All right. Hello. Welcome. We have one viewer in total. Uh, there is another stream for Z3, so likely we won't have many viewers, and it's a uh, sort of a weird time for most people that usually frequent the channel, and so uh, I don't suspect we'll have many viewers today. So, if anything, this is going to be more for what uh, for you do. In any case, uh, what we are here today to cover is a new update for Augustus. It's the Legionaries. Um, well, Legionaries with Pila, which is throwing javelins. So, Legionaries should now receive um, a range attack because they are the unit that's most expensive, yet it's the like extremely situational unit. Uh, if you leave them in double line formation, which is the normal formation without military academy training, they can now throw javelins. They only throw two javelins and then they have to fight in melee. So you can't use them instead of javelineers. Uh, for most DPS you will still want uh, legionaries, uh, sorry, javelins, but uh, well, it's something. Uh, might make a difference. So we'll be testing them out today. We'll be playing a map that's called Visigoth Vengeance by Search Physical Vengeance on Haven if you want this map. I'm not sure uh, why I'm here for it. Um, I just picked something that looked relatively open so we can test it out. I know there's military activity from this edge and likely we'll also get attacked, like maybe here. But uh, I think that this is an invasion point, so entry point, exit point, so we'll have some heavy military activity here. There are no tactical rocks or anything, there's a little bit of tactical water. But otherwise, it's relatively open. We have 7,000 denarii starting money. This is a map that's made quite some time ago, so no events on this one. Uh, so we are here in Syracuse, which means everything is sea trade, right? Yeah, everything is sea trade. So, uh, docks and entry and exit points. Is there. Let's unpause the game very slowly and watch out for any flotsam. I suspect this might be our trade area. Or at least that's intended trade area, right? Depends if we have flotsam or not. If there is no flotsam, then I'll have to make a, make a test dock. This also might might be an invasion point. I haven't played this map in a very long time, so I'm not sure about that. I don't see any flotsam. Okay, we'll have to make a test dock then. Let's start by taking a look at our resources. So we got wharfs, meaning there's fishing, there's a lot of fishing grounds. And I think we want to go for fish before we use this fertile land. Might actually need this fertile land for vines as well. There is goal of 60 prosperity, which is really not high at all. We can just deal with only having plebs and it's gonna be fine. Let's build some block adjacent to the shoreline here. I hope that the entry point for ships is not like here, but we'll see. So I want to keep some space from this. Something like three tiles is good enough. Some more on that side. And we want to go for normal blocks. So 96, 24. Fill in some houses. I'm not gonna go try hard style. This map, from my, what I remember, it's not like brutal, but the attacks get quite large, so that's why we are testing it on this one. Hey, for a Yeah, good morning. As I mentioned before, my sleep schedule is back to relative normality, so that's why streams have been a little more early than before. Val's got like 30 viewers streaming map making for season. So. Okay. Um, let's go for. Yeah, services on this side. We want some fishing to go in from this side. Let's go ahead and add extra on the side here. We'll be going with the barber prefect some temples. I might... Uh, yeah, let's do all the temples. Let's do all the temples in the block, it's fine. 
We might want early barbhouse to prevent disease. And I think we will be doing that. Which actually opens this up to be... Let's check my overlays. Let's put this over here. It will be neater. A lot of people immigrate and will decide on industry. Yeah, I guess it's mm, more about Valdon than what he's doing, really. As is usual. Just like the complete opposite of what I do, but for my guys. Um, Slap people in the gate. You've got some population, not enough yet. This is a little bit far from the entry point, so it's not optimal. Maybe optimal would be to start a block here, but then we'd have to transport food. So it depends what the priority is. The pillars make the legions more worthwhile? Yeah, likely. But it's not gonna be huge because they can waste the projectiles on like the first three enemies and then they have no more of them. So, against big attacks, I don't think it's gonna make a massive difference. Because usually the big attacks have so many enemies that if the front row dies, that's not really a huge deal for their morale or anything. And I think they only have two sets of pilas, so they can't keep throwing them, it's just, you know, like single use thing. Trade. You're likely. I'm gonna double check for flotsam. We do not have flotsam. I'll have to test it. We probably want a ship's bridge. There is fertile land here. I haven't even realized that. Are there limited bridge spots? Looks like there are. I can do it here. Just a dock. Open a trade road, which is the cheapest one. Looks like it's going to be Capia. It buys wine. Let's open it. See if they come here. No working dock, we will solve that. It's active. Let's see if there is a ship that's gonna come or not. It should, even without a warehouse. Okay, so they spawn over here. Which means preferably you would have docks over here. We already built there though. So uh, this is wide enough for a dock. We could dock there. That's still not tremendously far. And that is fertile land adjacent to it. with a warehouse here. We could keep this for a shipyard. We'll want a shipyard.
can sell 15 wine, which is not much. Are there other trade routes buying wine? This one buys pottery. That is 15 more wine. 25 more wine. Yes, we should focus on wine. Vines. With six workshops is enough for now, more than enough. We want that shipyard over here. But is it really super necessary? I feel like there's gonna be plenty of space. I might just build this instead. Keep space for extra warehouse. Except eight wine. Yes, this is called Visigoth Vengeance. You can see it having already told yourself, oh, can I beat this without removing any trees, right? <laughs> I'm not sure. The, the, the bridge here might be scuppered. Need employees. That's fine. Kind of, but honestly, looks a bit too easy for that, yeah. It's too open. Yeah, you have to test the Legion ID, so I just grabbed the random map I had in my folder. We even have Plaza and 60 Prosperity. It's gonna be a very short stream. Down some plaza. Now, first vine is being made. We could aggressively expand into the more trade. Might be that's a solution here. Oh yeah, I remember the invasions are the invasions are big. I think it's Visigoths. That's why I picked it. If my memory serves me right, which I don't know. It, I haven't played it in a very long time, so who knows. What's our current population capacity? Still a lot more. We could expand even more industry if we feel like it. I think we have clay, do we? Yeah. Could do easy pottery. There's already a decent battle. Which we haven't been here long, but there's already an invasion. It could be massive, who knows? I never I don't remember this map. So it could be. Do other people buy vines? Yes. I mean, it's not much, but we could sell some vines as well. I think the prices are basically vanilla though, so... The profit from that is not gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. But vine should give me decent money. Decent, it's the vanilla, so a lot of money. Might need another set of shrines, we'll see. Can I be mine anything? There is no iron, can I even get iron? <laughs> That's important. Yeah, Athena sends me iron. Okay. It's December, it's a shame we couldn't sell anything this year. Oh yeah, my salary, I shouldn't, I should check that. Oh, I'm paying myself ridiculous money. Okay, let's drop that to something like eight. And I'm gonna give 500 of that to the city and we'll send a gift. There we go. Mm. 
That is a ship. That is a ridiculous salary. Okay, now we have 2,000, so let's start getting some food. Let's put a shipyard here. Is this still fine? It is. Let's do some fishing. Services. Warhammer and Market Ladies accept fish. We'll do 16 units. We still have some money. I'll go ahead and build a supply post. Next up, barracks. I think we put everything military here, but that's close to houses, which is not great. I wanted to use my mm, this place for population. It's 10,000 pop, cool. I don't know where to put military at. I think central location to reach this and this uh, quickly is vital. So might be putting it like here. Let's go ahead and build the barracks. I don't remember the initial attacks, but it, attack is already on its way, so there's a chance it's gonna be big. Need thousand, so we can build a fort. Start with some javelins. I need to open another trader out as well, so that's gonna be something. Let's put this fort somewhere over here. Let's check the trade. It's March. They've bought 11 out of 15 vine. I'll take the bailout and open Tarentum. And we should also open Brandesium if we have the money. That is money. This is a bug. Did it just change with the new Augustus update? This is Syracuse I preset. Doesn't seem to be working very well. Oh well. We could make pottery and sell it. Over here, which we will do, we have unemployment. Not clay. Pottery. Eight units. We should get on that next, but for now it's fine. Getting some first food for our soldiers. We'll wait until it fills up a little bit more so we can feed it to the people. Someone else reported a bug about the original Empire map. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, it looks like it. Looks like it's broken. No, don't know if it's related, but that's what it seems to be. Let's get some four other workshops is good enough. Now we need to watch out for our services over here. Prefect is getting a little bit hairy, but it's a lot fine.
We'll go with the military academy as well. Maybe we can build it in a nicer place. Since we are doing kind of a sandbox map, probably put some decorations or something. I should set other goods to be sold. Vines and um, pottery. Should bring us some profit. Enemies are closing. We need to open Syracuse. No, sorry, Syracuse. Um, Atene at some point to get get iron. Wants wheat. I'm not growing wheat, but we could do it for the soldiers. I suppose closest wheat is this. I might relocate my supply post actually. Put some wharf to feed them fish. Put some wheat to feed them wheat. It's way too much, but it's okay. We'll need extra food types, it helps with morale. Morale can be vital if this attack is big. It could really make a difference. Give them some fruit as well. It's gonna be a little better than the plebs. to relocate our supply post. I'll do it once we have some food in here. Let's go to small casa. Immediately. I mapped the other day and thought about that being able to build more than one supply post could be very useful sometimes. Maybe. If they share the inventory, why not? some bones and statues. She's unhappy, it's fine. Stuck all more of the wheat. Milestone of 1000 uh, residents. We need to build shrines next. We don't really have money, so need to be a bit careful, but favor is fine. We do have an income, so it's all about dating right now. Let's build some spam. Where do we do it? I mean, it could be here. It's just not very pretty, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You must construct additional pylons. Maybe it would make it unbalanced. I don't know. What was the idea behind it? Do the devs want you to only have one? I have to strategize with it.
Because it is a decision where you build it. Like now, I've built it here, but I allocated it. it cost me extra money because of that. If I could have multiple. I'm not sure if I would have multiple, even if I could. In most cases. Athene buys my pottery. Should make more pottery. Give him a different service loop. We want some shipyards or wharfs here later. I know, I know. Kind of running a tight budget. We need another four. I don't feel safe with this. But we need the Athena trade route at some point. Get ourselves to iron. That's what we are here to do. workshops for now. I don't need multiple. Or multiple. More, more than this. Could relocate our barracks, but I'll set up a supply post. And, uh, it's a su supply post. A supply, um, no supply, car depot. Accept all the weapons in the universe, it's fine. Uh, yeah, um, cats are happy. They, uh, they annoy me all the time that they want to go outside, and there is construction work outside, so it's not safe or quiet, so they no longer. Like when you bring them outside, they want to be there, but they want to go outside because they like it outside, so it's kind of a hard thing to judge. But there, are, we have the construction site, so it's pretty annoying lately. Some more pottery. This one dock is is getting pretty hammered. Battleships, you'll see, is the imports. Keep selling everything. I think we want more wine. <laughs> yeah, they, they have a pit. It's, there's another pit. So, it has started. For real. Previously it was like a lot. Now it's... Isengard.
water to clip it. Doesn't matter. The problem we have is the ships always come in bursts, so they always clog it up. But now that it's downtime. They sell everything. Now we need a fort for legionaries. We might want to do a local production of pottery instead of carting it over. Give them extra entertainment. There could be a gladiator uprising on this map. I have I don't remember this map at all, so you're taking a bit of a risk. Extra services, roadblock. Money is flowing. Do we need more weapons workshops? For now, it is being held up by the production rate. Add a new market, and we probably want to fish some more. We are not fishing enough. These are all set and full. Could use a depot. We could also set up a wheat production. Fish from three to two. Only when the source has 
Mordon 4. It's gonna temporarily help. These are very cool. I need to do two Garnetis for this. Otherwise you would have inefficiency. You want these to produce as quickly as possible and they are so adjacent it's gonna be ridiculous production rate from these things. It means two depots though. So labor intensive yes, but be careful with the production rate I think. in the plaza. Another set of temples. I'd like some larger temples, but we can't do that yet. Well, we potentially have the money. Is there... Marble? Stone? They buy marble, these sell stone. Cartago sells stone. Athena sells me stone and marble. But it's a lot of imports to handle. What is one Kramidok? Would be best to separate. I don't really want to do that though. Another fort. Let's do another legionary fort. Even though we don't currently have the weapons. Potre is still in flux. That's the first invasion. Let's see how large it is.
these are Visigoths. Yeah. So what the game uses is Dacian sprites. It's pretty tiny. Get peel off. There you go. They killed him there, like what? So it gives them a little bit of a burst for those attacks. Gods are angry, we need stone. This needs to accept. Camps. Also, did I accept marble in here? Mm hmm. We have. Guys are a bit angry. I don't want Neptune to be angry, but. Yeah, I guess we have to build some small temples in the meantime. Let's get some small temples. the third set for the one block we have especially if their a mechanic was updated in the future so they don't throw it all juggles at one unit if that's even possible to do but yeah I mean they, they very likely overkill the dead so like most of that damage is probably wasted but so far it seems like they picked the targets pretty well but uh, it could have been the javelins as well, I don't know. If we don't have engineer in here. He spawns on the other side, yes. It's unfortunate. Small insula. Food is still in flux. Take a minute. I'm gonna be right back. You're gonna get like 4,000 pop for this one block. Let's check, do we have local timber? That is timber. Okay, uh, first let's let's fix this food issue we have. Well, it's not an issue yet, but it will become an issue in the future. So, adding some more fishing wharves would be nice. That's this, I don't trust this though. This is probably an invasion point. So. We'll fish elsewhere and bring it, and then we could, we could also do wheat as a second food type already. I will likely go for Grand Insula, so might as well do that. Depends, how much fertile land is here? That's a little bit. 
so much. We could we could farm here though. There's like a lot left. I haven't even tapped this at all. But we could certainly do that. Everyone's favorite farm Tetris. This is very simple Tetris too. That wasn't the problem at all. The problem is money. She'll be fine in the future. Start with one depot. Jun troops also aim at one unit sometimes, so I assume the legions have the same code in them. Yeah, they do overkill as well, that's correct. And it can make a big difference sometimes, when most of the javelins are actually wasted, when the unit takes one or two javelins, dies, and then 15 javelins just hit the ground. But so is the aim for the tower, sometimes scuppered, it just like shoots and misses constantly, sometimes it happens. The enemies need to pretty much be stationary for them to hit. On the move it only hits if like it's a group and therefore it aims at someone but it hits someone else. But it can't reliably hit a moving target. It's not like ballistics in Age of Empires 2 or anything where it predicts the path. I'm missing some workers. So, decision is to be made. Do we build another block or do we upgrade this one with furniture? If I do furniture, we'd have problems with population. I think I'll be adding a another block instead. This is our source, so we want to do it as close as physically possible. Doesn't matter where you put these one by ones. Do all the temples again. So we don't we don't try hard. Normally you would not put everything in the block, but it's not necessary for us to go super hard on this. Gonna be building some decorations and stuff that's not really necessary. Because it's a it's a sandbox map, apart from the attacks, which are I think they grow quite large. We might as well just build, you know, things that look nice, you know they are not needed. I usually don't do this at all. This map though, if we are to have any semblance of uh, anything, we might as well. Because otherwise it's a pure sandbox. Okay, um, we keep an entrance. Yeah, we'll see. But I'm not building ultra efficient, really. I mean, blocks, yes, but you know, all the little palisades of wasted money. Things like that. This wall, not necessary.
The invasion start. I don't know when, but it's gonna start to get hard. We will wait. Even if I win the map, we will wait for bigger attacks or I'll trigger them with the well to test the legionaries out. Hey, Goyoshi, welcome. Hey, that's not sure what hmm, Great to wait to start the day with season 3, yeah. You've been playing some other games, haven't you? Do you enjoy streaming so far? Oh, it's, it's okay. Nothing crazy going on. But, um, more the lack of events. Okay, we have natives. Deploy the chads. It's a very small group. We'll trigger a well invasion if if the map fails to provide it them in substantial numbers. It's, uh, it's, it's growing. It's like double the size of the last attack, so... It's probably gonna grow pretty large. Tarkov 2 and uh, TR. I don't know what TR is. They're master. Somewhat annoying um, that there are always guys who want to sell you stuff like VTuber or cheap viewers. <laughs> the bots? Yeah. It's a scam, don't believe it either. It's a scam. I always ban them uh, when you see them. You can turn auto moderation on to get rid of it. I personally also don't have auto mod on because I trust you will, you know, use your freedom of speech to say what we want. But um, that means that I have to manually ban them. And I often do. It's like five times per stream lately. I've seen an increase. Tomb Raider, right. I never played that, but... To enjoy that, that's good. I think you generally like older games. Have we built the thing? Yeah. Start building a temple. It's gonna be expensive. And we need some timber. And some bricks. That's it, right? Yeah. Not sure you told that already, but there's she got a new new feature, so don't don't get into sandbox players. No, I'm playing this as a 
to show the new legionaries. I haven't played with them yet. These are... They have pila attacks, so javelins. So I'm building some decorations and whatnot. We'll see how it goes, but... Yeah, I'm not, like, enjoying the openness of this. It's brain dead. Um, not good. But I picked a random one just to... I had... Just to show it off. They want to play anything crazy, especially not with events. I'm gonna want to show this off. Mana is not looking great. It's all the imports. It's okay though, our favor should be fine. It's February. It's probably the quota got exhausted. Could open extra trade, potentially, if we need to. Suffering today. Mm. There's always room for suffering. It's very early. I should really work on the campaign, but it's so much work. I really don't want to get into it because when I start it, I will not want to let up until it's done, and I know that it's gonna annoy me. So yeah, might play something else afterwards. Something with some more suffering, like Slater's Bar. These people are angry. It's fine. They'll get food soon. Let's get this sorted with two markets. Theater and an amphitheater. A brutal. Has some plans for balancing military as well, like adding more range defense on enemy units with shields, yes. I'm not sure if it can be called plans though, like, will it be a thing? I don't know. The devs haven't agreed yet, it's very hard to make them agree. Or anything. Explosions, explosions. We need to prefect. Crime caused this. Because if there is crime, then people oftentimes will uh, stop the prefect from doing his rounds, and that causes this sort of issue. It's really bad. Especially since mergers are pain. This would mean that some of these houses might not merge properly. Especially this one. I'll sort it out. By using a medium statue here instead. Yeah, they were angry. They didn't have food for a while, so... They got angry. We could sell more pottery to Rome. Cartago buys oil. I don't think I can make oil. Corinthus buys furniture. I can make furniture if I really want to. Question is, do we really want to? Cooking meh, no meh. Uh, yeah. The most common cause of fire is a legal meth lab <laughs> in the tents. Alright, it is an invasion point. I predicted that. Let's clap these fuckers. Time to clap some gothic cheeks. And not in the way you might think. There is no goth GF in Caesar. I'll build some walls too. 
Driven them from running rampant. Might need it for it just to do a chocolate. Yeah. Let's do it now. And are they running into the city immediately? No, no. It's fine. Come on, boys. Yeah, the Pila are flying. Now they have... They are out of Pila, right? They seem to be refreshing them. Is that a trail? Do they refresh them or something? Seems like they were out and then suddenly he had another Pila. Pilu. I can bet that if I had played this map, I would not have bridged over there just to see if Mapmaker made uh, that mistake by placing invasion point on the side. Yeah, uh, you could just grow all your vines here and trade over here uh, as a 3x3. Three three. So, you could. But I figured we use this area, so, you know, even if there's invasions, I didn't plan to cheese them. If when I first played this, I thought the same though. Because obviously, this is a big mistake. A lot of map packers do like you you can beat this map i'm pretty confident you can get 60 prosperity by not even bridging over but you know these these are not super scary attacks at least for now so they're just armored javelin throwers mm, not really they have pila but they don't have infinite number of them and it's just a bonus because they are the most expensive unit to make, yet they were least used. Apart from cavalry maybe, because cavalry is complete memory. Yeah, they don't get the bonus if they are in, the, in their square formation, so essentially it's worthless if you have academy training for them. Well, worthless, you get, you get the morale bonus and distant battle bonus, but if you use your square, they will not use the javelin, therefore I suspect that's gonna get changed because that makes the military academy completely worthless with them as synergy. Apart from, again, the bonuses for distant battles. Which, I mean, it can be a factor, but do you really care about it too much? I don't know. They should let them let them do it in the, in the square. That's what I think. Okay, it's time to add more wheat. We probably want some more pottery as well. That's enough. Four workshops, each one is 20 houses. It's around 40 houses per block. We could use some more. For the future. This might waste a little bit of time sometimes, it's fine. They can cart it pretty far without losing efficiency. Let's build the vestigial walls. Seems like the after the armory they made the legionaries worse, the square bonus uh, was the best. Yeah, it was very good, it was what made them really good. And now I will probably never use it, because it's damage output, right? Unless you are like heavily outnumbered, I don't think you would switch. Alternatively you could micro the shit out, like, like let them throw it and then switch, but that's like... Assuming you will have like four legionary forms. <laughs> That's 8 clicks just extra added on top of what you were already doing. 
It's a lot of micro. Not a fan of micro myself. So I don't think I will be tryharding it. But you could. I guess. You could. So it, it works in Total War the Legionaries, but it's more cumbersome to handle in this game. Yeah, because Total War is all about the battles and the global map. So you like, you know, you don't have to worry about it too much because you don't have a city in the in the battle. In the battle, you, your only job is to command the army. And here, yes, I'm not building something right now, but it's a city builder. Therefore, a lot of people will likely not want as much micro as you would tolerate in a total war game. Just an idea. Oh, he's angry. He wants vegetables. I don't want to make vegetables, but I guess we could. So it's several units are giving... Yeah, so even there, like, some aspects of the micro are actually better, you know. They throw when some units are engaged, yeah, it seems like it. It makes it more powerful for sure. But you do lose out on defense because the square bonus is big. Like against overwhelming odds, that's the one thing that makes them like a really power through. Like 150, 200 natives. Um, it's not the damage, it's the bulkiness that really helps them there. And we don't have that anymore because, well, I, you could use the formation, but you lose out on damage and that can be a big deal as well so I don't know I don't know I think they should allow it in the square formation I mean it's powerful sure but why do you add this if you it's like <laughs> so of course it's broken <laughs> uh, was there any, ever any doubt about it being powerful? I don't think so. You know, but keep the legionaries be the tanks. That's their main purpose in life. Like, the extra little damage, great, but they need to tank. That's their life. That is their life's purpose. Trinsen is a fix to add the square. Yeah, but that's a design decision, right? It's not a fix, it's a design decision. To not have them have it. But, uh, surely, like, feedback can change that. But I don't know, for me personally, I would say let them keep it. It is their main purpose in life to be tanking. So, like, extra little damage, great. I appreciate it to make them more viable, but they need to keep their main purpose, which is be an impersonation of a blunt object. They need it. They made the legionaries bad with adding armor, eh? at least they, they could let us keep the square thing. There's a bigger plan behind it, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there is a military overhaul, kinda in the works, sort of, but who knows. And 
uh, I mean, the armory is straight up uh, a nerf uh, because you need it now. So it's extra workers, it's extra stuff, you know, it needs to be on the same road layout. It's just extra stuff that wasn't necessary before. It's cool to have, like, yeah, it looks nice, whatnot, but you're not wrong. It does make them even worse because you now have to consider this, but, you know, it, it's not like this could make them better. If they give them the square, it undeniably will make them good. Like, they will be powerful, but I think they should be. Like, you know, with this sort of game, you do need the player units to be strong. If they're not very strong, then it's gonna be really annoying to deal with anything. Um, it's a city builder, so, you know, and barbarian units should be weaker by quite a bit. Especially if you invest properly. It's all about if you've invested into military academy, if you invest into logistics, if you invest into forts, you know, all these things. Hey, Valvo. Got our protege map maker and his goon squad. He's got a trophy ball. Let's get this sorted. Let's get this in here. Oh, look, transport furniture with a car depot. Uh, not accept anyone. It's not needed. Just accept furniture. Full warehouse of it. Transport furniture. Let's so wait. We need to set this to accept. I've heard there are jobs here. Thanks for the follow. Uh, I want to be a lion tamer. Hey, swallow. Can you teach Phil how to make maps? Um, I mean, did he watch the videos? I made a whole, like, it's three videos, but they're quite long and they cover everything from A to Z. What is good, what is bad to include in maps. And it's not just what I think, but it's common knowledge of the community and what a lot of other people think as well. So, you know, uh, if one wants to make good maps, the only thing you need to do is watch that and you will uh, get information you would otherwise have to glean from scouting the internet for a very long time and you might not even find out all of it because some of it is a bit obscure mm -mm. I, d I haven't watched him make the map but surely it's not gonna be terrible like he he spent mm, quite a bit of time on it right I encourage people to experiment with map making that's why I made the series Oh yeah, fair buy. Hold him out. I didn't. So... Just gonna have to figure that out. Alright. So what are we doing? Well, even more legionaries, so we test them out properly. Because the javelin thing is... in need of testing. Vegetables for Caesar have been dealt with. We could sell them, but I feel like we are okay. Especially with money now, it seems like it's completely sorted. Let's give them a form. I will also like to get oil. I don't think we can grow olives, can we? No. So where do we import olives from? Athena sells me olives. It already sells me other characters, so it's probably not great. Cartago Brandisium sells me olives as well, okay. Can see something coming up. Let's set do we have space in this warehouse? Yes. Let's accept some olives. Is home smack here with the raid? Olive. Need to make olive oil. There you go. Where do we put this? I think I want a separated production area. For it. We could do it here. Bring it to the depot. It's just so powerful. It's better than cluttering my docks. It's already cluttered enough. Let's get ourselves four workshops. I might do six. Let's 
go ahead and add a road. And a depot. We'll need two depots. This thing will accept oil. And we have an invasion. Let's get ourselves some libraries. Alright. Let's clap these cheeks. Not huge so far, it's probably gonna be another group, yeah. At least another one, maybe more. I will trigger like a massive invasion later if we don't see that naturally happen. I'll do it. I also need more timber. Um, let's see. This can accept 16. There you go. And I should really be setting up my stuff over here. Let's import olives. Before we tend to the invasion, let's just set this up. Oil. This thing accepts olives. 16. And 16 oil. Set this up. 13 to 6. 1 to 13. There you go. The map will turn out pretty good for the first map, really better than my first map. Good. Man, I haven't watched the creation process, but assuming, you know, you gave Val some, some hints, should really turn out well. Let's see the javelins. Slow it down, I want to see the target acquisition. So far that's the javelins throwing. Now some legionaries are binding up. It's kinda hard to see behind the flags a little bit. But they are throwing. I mean, that's, they seem to be splitting targets. They are not throwing all at one. It's for sheets. No, it's not the walls, map. This is um, Visigoth Vengeance from Haven. And they still throw challenge. They just mopped up ridiculously quickly. Okay. Legionary spam, meta, maybe. With this kind of thing. If they make them use the square, it could be. That was ridiculously quick. Mop up. You don't normally see that quick of a cleanup. Yeah, they do have shorter range than the javelins. That's apparent. So like archers will outrange them, enemy archers. That's that's gonna be pretty clear. Get ourselves a temple. Let's do Mars Temple. Makes sense on paper, but when enemies charge the legionaries, uh, the legions should be able to throw one volley. Yeah, that's what the devs want, I guess. They don't want them to be sniping enemies like javelins, 360 three no scoping motherfuckers across the map. Like, sometimes that does happen. Um, the devs really don't want that to happen with the legionaries. I mean, it's fine. It, it does encourage variety in that you don't want to just spam legionaries. You probably still will want to add some javelineers for the killing power and the range. But the thing is, the legionaries are always in front, right? So they are like at least one tile forward. And so they will be taking damage before your javelins can encounter the enemy skirmishers. Therefore the square is even more important. As an invasion imminent, which is fine.
I made it with archers in mind at first. Okay. You know that archers are mimere though, right? Sam proved it. They're not as good as javelineers. Even with their like tankiness and stuff, they're just not good. They die to the same attacks javelineers kill. Maybe only using legionaries next invasion. Yeah, we can do that. Also make another fort. This one I'm not gonna surround with nonsense. I'm getting some Grand Insula. Gonna bring more of that oil, more of these goods. To evolve further. Takes a while to bring all the goods and make them. Put one square formation in front. So a lot of them. Can place more pages and they are still streaming in. Yeah, these attacks are, are growing quite large. I told you this map does actually scale pretty well. There's not a tiny attack. Yeah, we are getting outranged. What an outrage. Okay, let's go ahead and kick them in the face. See that clean up in action. Shooting the shooters is not really happening. Well, it is, but we are taking some serious losses because when the legionaries are not in their square formation, arrows actually do pretty well against them. These are stuck. Evolution, okay. Let's add some more furniture production. We got so much unemployment. Some more oil. Stormy seas. I should build building a lighthouse. Let's build a lighthouse. House of the light. Let's build it. It's a monument, therefore it doesn't burn. Might as well look this. I know, I know, money and all. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. It's October. No ships. Oh no, we do have ships now. But all the imports are definitely causing some issues. Would be good to add another dock. I can't though, because I picked this location for a trade setup. That's January. It's a lot of ships. Okay, we need that extra dock, otherwise, we die, I think, to economy. But I can't, I can't. There's no place for another dock, is there? It's two, that's two. Is this three? No, it's two. I don't think I can add another dock here. That's a significant problem. We made it out of debt, though. It's probably fine. 
Taxes will probably kick in soon with on the ground and so on. Ten oil. We'll have it soon enough. What the population advice is saying. 5,700 people. Full capacity for 79 extra population. We got loads of personal savings as well. Might as well send a gift. Second tax is 7,000. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Does he? Black as death. I don't hear him or see him anywhere, but it's possible. Building the monuments, which will help. I should separate my dogs. Let's do that, since we have the money. I just need to figure out where do we want this. I did kind of already build here, so... It's gonna have to be elsewhere, like over here. We can do pottery over here. Right? Anything that deals with pottery? Well, the problem is some of our warehouses kind of need to be... Like, I'm buying stuff. I'm buying iron, olives, and... I'm buying iron, olives, and marble. So actually, I think maybe wine. We are selling wine to people who sell me olives. This is gonna be annoying to set up. I could just make another dock with, you know, more goods to buy, but not necessarily a way to to sell me anything, which will also be fine. Put that in. Can do eight and eight wine. It's gonna create a bit of a mess, but I think it will do. We can do sixteen, sixteen, and we only allow. Well, we really shouldn't connect to this. It's a stupid idea. Let's get vine. Let's wait until this activates. Vine from one to fourteen. And pottery from 1 to 14. I wish to increase our production as well. Another attack, we'll deal with it. Friend. It's quite a few natives. Should be a big deal though. Ridiculous cleanup speed with these javelinier javelinionaires, I guess. They they mop up ridiculously quickly. Diamonds. We have our own diamonds for once. You don't see that every day. Yeah, more production. I'll add another set of rock troops here. Now we've built some temples. Let's get another mausoleum. Mom, can we have diamonds? No, we have diamonds at home. <laughs> yeah. Didn't... Legionary diamonds. Alright, we need more. We need more population to win this map. I don't have much more jobs though. Uh, we could expand the trade. There's still something to do. Furniture exports. 
are technically possible. So we should do that here. have to do it with a depot, I don't want them to interact with the dock directly because that would cause everything to kind of, um, you know, backtrack. We don't want that. That would be really terrible. So just accept furniture here. Full warehouse of it is fine because we want to use it for anything else. Let's wait until it activates. Bring furniture from 15 to... Is it 14? Yes. Got loads of ships. Maybe the diamond formation should be added to make the cavalry useful. <laughs> uh, that's a wedge formation plant, I think. Uh, so we could see that in the future for cavalry, because currently cavalry is just mimere. It's really terrible. It's probably the worst unit. Um, well, no, probably. It's the worst unit from the tests that were done. Even when you use them pro appropriately, which is to flank enemies with. Dead. But we should see some furniture. Let's export furniture as well. I'll open this. It's gonna kick in eventually. Yeah, I know, I know. It's fine. Another attack. This is gonna get annoying, isn't it? It's like five attacks per year. It's gonna get ridiculous. We could build more towers. That is a gladiator uprising on this map. I forgot, or well, I didn't even realize. So, uh, what do we do? Destroy that, destroy this, destroy that. Solved. Add an extra. Well, there is a gladiator spawning already, so I have to wait. Just as we get hit by this. They will crunch my aquaracts if I'm not careful. Well, if I'm not careful. If, if they decide to do that. They're going after entertainment buildings. There's still a leash, uh, there's still a gladiator. Rampaging. Bath. They destroyed my bathhouse. Oh, fuckers. Okay. It's not an entertainment structure. That's illegal to destroy a, <laughs> a bathhouse. I mean, understandably, I've talked to them again uh, about the theaters, but did, did they have to destroy this? <laughs> this other thing? Whatever. You know, don't question it. It's okay. They didn't have any valid targets, so they went for whatever was. Available, I guess. Still a bit of a bitch move though. They can't bath, <laughs> bathe, no one can. Well, I'll let you know that Gladiator was actually a prized possession. Uh, many Lannisters actually made it so that Gladiators were looked after quite well. They were fed more than other slaves by orders of magnitude in order to make them strong and big. They gave them massages, they gave them baths, they even had. Um, 
regular concubines and uh, you know even Roman women were interested in them a lot because it's like today um, MMA fighters or boxers like they might not be the most intelligent or upstanding members of society but they are very attractive to women because of how the mentality works so that was the same thing in Rome uh, we've got sources where uh, patricians complain that their daughter ran off with a gladiator or this and that and they sometimes were like horrendously mutilated as well so like they looked horrendous they be they behaved terribly and they sometimes couldn't even properly speak latin uh yet they were you know they were the goat so to speak in any case uh yeah they were like not not treated badly usually and also it's a it, he's an investment you don't want him to die so Today we might think, oh, gladiators, like, you know, people die all the time in the arena. Well, yeah, but also not really, because you don't want to lose someone you've been training for years, and he's an asset, so most fights were not to the death. If a fight was to the death, then you would actually have, um, you would have an announcement saying, oh, this fight is gonna be to the death, and therefore it would attract people, because it was something special. Amazing how much we've evolved over 2000 years. Not at all, yeah. Maybe they have called this over there. Maybe. Someone says, just think how much pull the Karate Kid has. Crank kick of death. Crank kick of death. <laughs> yeah. Super fun lions. I mean, I would not to want to fight a lion or be a gladiator. But to some people, uh, it was a solution. Even, you know, being... Like debtors, you could be indebted and you would be uh, get, getting rid of your debts by negotiating with the Lanista, who was a master of this uh, Ludus, this Scola Gladiatoria. You would be uh, negotiating with him. And it, Romans looked at Lanistas like pimps. They didn't like them and they didn't like to deal with them. But when you had to, you had to. And if, when you went in debt, you would go there and negotiate that you would do some fights and he would let you live. Or sometimes Lannister would even go like, oh, I got a slave, but he's literally a wimpy, but he's a good craftsman. So instead of killing him, like, you know, he's not a big good gladiator, but he would keep him as a as a uh, artisan, basically. Um, some of the things about this. Yeah, arena death was common for slaves, because not, not the gladiators, but slaves, like proper slaves, because that's what happened in games a lot of the time, is uh, you would have criminals, because it was a form of punishment to be inducted to the games, and then it's not that you are a gladiator, you are about to be the spectacle, meaning you are about to be executed publicly, that's essentially what it is, you are not a gladiator, you are uh, just there to die, essentially, and that's not being a gladiator, <laughs> it's that's being inducted to the arena or given to the games as a punishment. Uh, the other way is, uh, there's some gruesome stuff, uh, by the way, about this, is that the Romans had a guy with a hammer who would be in the arena, and when there was a fight and it was finished, uh, he would make sure that you wouldn't simulate death. Because some people would try that. Uh, yeah, the hammer was not just for show. It was a very big hammer. Something else. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's about it. There were, like, you know, you could you could have any myriad of things uh, in the arena. There, there, there were several kinds of gladiators as well. You had different classes and they specialized in fighting with different weapons or against different opponents. They would also specialize in fighting animals or you would have, you know, it, tied, it ties usually to the cultural background of gladiator it's, himself. Sometimes it was only arbitrary though. So you could also see someone who, like, you know, he does not have the, uh, the proper background, but he would be good with some sort of weapon, so he would use it. So it was not necessarily, oh, he's a Trace, so he's gonna, he's from Trace, so he's gonna use, um, use the shield and a, a short sword. Not necessarily. Coin. <laughs> One bit. Thank you for the 0 0.01 dollars for Josh. <laughs> Negotiating with a lion pride? Yeah, you don't negotiate with that. Because they will take pride in what they are about to do to you. And I don't think pulling a thorn out of this paw is gonna solve it. If it's Ralph Machio, you should leave. Or shield a buff. Don't 
Bill of Fortune and Reese's Bill. Okay, we need another block. Let's do another block. Let's curve it. Make it slightly smaller because of the curves. Curves are not good for block design, obviously. I'll be doing conservative block because if I make it longer it will increase the chances that this breaks. I don't want this to break the loop because that would be the worst thing in the non-universe. I do not want the worst thing in the non-universe. So I'll be going for something smaller, which is fine. We might do patricians. We have enough money though, so like the motivation to make them is not really there. Make this slightly larger. Now, we will have to probably set up a new supply uh, hub though, for this. I don't think our one supply hub is gonna be able to handle this. But I could be wrong. It's a bit far. I could see something uh, we could do. How about we relocate our actor's corner? I really don't want to make another supply hub if I can avoid it. Relocate this. Yeah. It's relatively close. It's gonna be like two or three markets. Probably three, just to be safe. But it should be relatively acceptable. I'll even add a highway. Make it fast. Add some services. Do we have everything? No, we need another prefect because otherwise crime could be a problem again before they merge. All the temples. Bathhouse. Lions are just big cats. Yeah. I mean, they are, but they also, being big cats, they like to play with their prey, and they are carnivores, and we are way smaller, so. If house cat was as big, it would eat you. There are some people on the internet who like can do like you know, they tame the lion and they cuddle with them and whatnot. Yeah, but like that's not safe. Even if you know the lion, it's um, it could still backfire. You know, you make sure that the lion is fed before you have cuddles, otherwise <laughs> you're not walking out of those cuddles. May consider your opinion about portioning, but likely not. Unlock the Shrekhanis by Shrekhanis Intr City Defender, it's like battle mech. Yeah, it's like the Roman alternative of uh, Shrekhanis. No, we don't need anything like that, Chedi on your sword, the only thing we need. Also, videos of crazy people in Russia who have pumas in their house, yeah. But it's not safe, like, you know, it's not safe. Keeping such large predators, like, even if you tame them, they could have a bad day and you could die. Not just you, but they could kill someone else as well. It's not safe. It's very irresponsible. I don't know what that means, so I'm sorry. Let's focus on the building. Let's get this block sorted. Oh, 
get them some theater. Entertainment helps with sentiment immediately, so might as well do it. Give them a school and a library. Let them eat pizza. Speaking of pizza, we'll have to, yeah. They, they can get food all our days, just we'll need to give them water first. So we are waiting for that. Merging. Kids have a growl also. Pitted animals, but even when they are tortured by being decoyed, they still have very dangerous teeth, yeah? But you should also not declaw the cats. Like that's like if you if someone cut off your tips of your fingers, they have meat in the claws. It's not just a claw. It's the if you look at it, they have flesh in there. It's nerve endings. It's very cruel to declaw the cats. Bears and stuff used to be a popular attraction at the hardware store. <laughs> I don't know where you live. Maybe. <laughs> Is that a thing? In here, you don't really do that. But I know that there's been like, I've seen some some things. <laughs> it's like a dude with a bear. So the bear turns around and just goes ham on him. It, it can have bears, a very dangerous animal as well. There was a dude actually who was like, oh, I'm a. You know, I'm a cl climate activist, and so they let him into the parks, and he was living with the bears, and he would touch them constantly, and go to them, feed them, and bring tourists to do this with them, and then, you know, guess what? He got killed and eaten by the bears, and so did his GF. Wild animals are no joke, okay? But to be fair, he did survive doing this for like a decade or something. Ridiculous. Human zoos in the form of Walmart. Yeah, but it's not the same. Right? Or oh, Kaufland. You don't have to be in Kaufland. You just are because that is a, you know, you're waiting for, for the cashier. But that's not the same as being inducted to the Walmart games for the enjoyment of the masses. It's not the same. Oh no, I've been sentenced to the Walmart games. It's not the same. This is a video of a Swedish man trying to befriend a wild moose. He acts as if he found a lost puppy in the woods. <laughs> it's like he had some mushrooms or something. <laughs> moose is also dangerous. There's no joke. Meese are ridiculous. Look it up. They can do unspeakable things to you. Is eating moose common in Sweden? I mean, sure. Like, I think it is. Even more in Finland. It's not super common, right? It's a delicacy. Jimmy told me he did extra serious work <laughs> sealing it up. <laughs> Used several types of screws and such. Seen deer go after people with something on them hormone sprays? Yeah. That can happen as well. Deer it can also kill you. Like a deer kick can absolutely kill you or the antlers. There's a lot of people with modern world, like, you, you know, you don't realize that these things are in fact dangerous, like, it's no joke. Even something, yeah, it's a herbivore, yeah, it is. Moose is also a herbivore, yet it kills more people than sharks, I think. <laughs> but it's... Don't quote me on that, look it up, but... It, it's not uncommon to die to a moose. Alright. 
We could just add some extra houses whenever we already have infrastructure. Is completed. Mars. That pulled that I take it. Next temple, Neptune. Requires an army. I will probably not send it. There's an attack on its way. No, we are not sending an army. I could send like one guy or something. Let's get another javelin fort here. I'll get some more legionaries. We have the money and we have the Mars fort, uh, Mars temple now. Entertainment not enough. Really? It's probably the actors calling it. If it's too far away, we could just put another one in. And we probably should double up on our depots here, or at least add another depot. There's even subtitles. My testing got nothing. Whipping the from hooves at literally breakneck speeds. Doesn't involve some named Olaf Olaf's. <laughs> yeah, I mean, surely it's a Swede, right? <laughs> Doesn't seem a very safe activity, but what do I know? Again, animals, wild animals, very dangerous. They are no joke. Let's get another granary for fish. Let's get also the depot. Transport fish. Set it from here. 16 to 1? No, 2, right? Yeah. It's our only supply hub, so the whole city has one granary and warehouse, which is great. New houses are being populated. Oh yeah, we got over 7k population. Great. Could build some defenses, I suppose. We have unemployment now. We need to solve it. I'll do some watchtower spam, I guess. Shame we cannot drag the watchtowers. It's like build, you know, 50 of them at once. Would be nice. Be some labor. It's eight per one, so it helped. The watchtowers watching over each other. They spawn guards that patrol the road, and they also shoot arrows. The not the guards, the towers themselves. So 
soaks up employment. I like it more than building a culture dump right now, but we all have to build a culture dump likely as well. We need to create jobs artificially because the map doesn't have kind of trade. There is some trade I could do, but it's a little unprofitable. A little bit zero goods and we've got loads of money, so no reason. Every monument we complete will also help. This is not disconnected from this monument construction though, so let's build it again. How much population can live in our city? 8,988. We can make, make it better. And then Neptune Blessing from the Grand Temple will push it really far. Might start cul culture dumping already actually. We didn't even have to use most of the fertile land here. What else do we do? Forum. Forum for the forum god. Over here. The types of gay of gay meat that is common to find in Czechia. I mean gay meat is relatively common by itself. Boar, deer. What else do you have? That's pretty much it. The most common is boar, so wild boar, wild pig, and deer. And then, what else? Let me find out. These are the two most common. Um, rabbit is also com uh, considered, hare is considered uh, game meat. Hello, oh, Jerry, the book. How's Ghost of Sushi? Did you like it so far? Yeah, it, it, it's good. It's very different from most other RPGs I've ever played, and in a good way. They took uh, what's useful from like other games and abandoned what was worthless. So, you know, I like that they do respect history. They do have some things in it, which like they glorify the samurai a lot. I noticed that, which they, sh they should really show them as being more oppressive than they are in the game. But it's much better than making them complete assholes like some games would do today. So, I appreciate it. Uh, it's definitely good. Heron Rabbit is actually very rare to find here for some reason. You'd have to have contact to get your hands on some. Right. I mean, maybe they don't live uh, in Sweden quite as much. So, the climate. I don't know. You would have to tell me. Did you see wild hares in the forest? As a kid, I spent a lot of time in the forest. Seen a lot of animals, but yeah. Maybe he didn't live in Sweden. Oops. Sending a unit too late will be something we'll do. That. Oh, yeah, it's the tents. Sorry, tents. There you go. Have some water. The coat that I have in this is like shoots up. It's ridiculous. I saw one wild, one wild once, 
So they exist, but they are rare. Pretty much on the same level as Lynx. Right, that's very rare, yeah. There's an Arctic... That is an Arctic here as well. It gets... Uh, white fur during the, during the winters, which makes it even harder to spot. So they get white fur? White rabbits? I mean, some games had white rabbits. I always assumed that was horse shit, but... You know, there you go. White rabbits in Sweden. There's a string of side missions a bit later where they kind of highlight the worst in Samurai, but yeah, mostly do glorify them. People who aren't familiar with the glorified version, so it makes sense. Yeah, that, but also, uh, again, it's better than the alternative, which is making them complete assholes, which they could have done as well, and that would be a bad way to go about it. Those small black spots on the tips of their ears, though, right? I'll be right back. Pushing this uh, to the finish line, I think it's not gonna take much longer to complete it. Favor is gonna be a little bit of a problem though, because we all fail to save that city. We'll need more jobs though, so how do we go about it? More culture dumping? Don't really want that, I guess more wheat. Because this granite is running a little bit light. Don't want it to interfere with the defenses. It's the main thing. this road. Double up on the services. Could even do more prefects here, because the enemies are close. If they ever run through, that could be a problem. As for the fish, I think fish is fine. Okay, we lost some favor, that's fine. 
Can't send in our gift yet, so I'll have to wait. Some of these houses need some desirability. It's fine at this point. There's some crime due to unemployment again. Another wheat farm. Oh, yeah, I didn't protect this one. That's fine. Let's remove these. What do we do with the jobs? What's the current population limit? By the way, 9,324. Neptune will pretty much sort it out, I think. But we need more jobs, so let's get some more culture dumping. Music spasming is not enjoyable. There we go, we would get attacked when our army is away. So, good decision not to try and save the city. So, several things on this map which are not great, but the, we, we are here to test the legionaries, that's what this is really about. Again, it's a bit of a sandbox map anyway. But it's it's got decent attacks, I think. For the size. There could be simultaneous attacks as well. I don't remember. No ancient missionaries, you could choose to continue for the next year when you are done, then call in the large attack. Yeah, we'll do that. I wanted to call in a bell attack. But it cannot be 200, it needs to be 150, but we can do two at the same time. Problem is gonna be... Well, I can make them from the same area, I guess. We've got two legionary forts and we've got eight, uh, sorry, two javelin forts, eight legionary forts. That's what we have. This could be an attack location as well. Neptune Temple. It's getting done. They're also building this. Might give them a hand with an extra camp and an architect. 20 vine. I don't have 20 vine because I don't accept quite as much, but that's easily solved. Taken, monument completed. That's just a lighthouse. Let's give it the capacity. Lighthouse keeper will get stuff. Oh, yeah, let's pay people more money. Rome is paying more already. 15,000 wage bill is quite a bit, but we're not building much anymore, so it's fine. There we go. Neptune, give him the capacity upgrade. Let the priests do their rounds. Check out our population. 9768. Just need a little more. Could 
говорю, кроме лайнблок. Or even one by ones. They improved them. <laughs> In the not so long ago patch. One by ones are slightly better now. Sure, why not? Just add some nonsense. It's fine. Just need people to live here. Doesn't need to be nice. Um, stuff, yeah, I need more jobs, so... Do we do more farms? I guess so. More fish could probably be useful. Local uprising, okay. Quite big. Legion is as always arriving after the fight is over. You gotta love it. It's not even that far. It's not even that far. Yet they are just so inept. You would not think that walking requires a university degree, but it does. The unit that's the most expensive can't even reach the front line. Great. Put some more highways. It's too many jobs, though. Some drops. Population almost achieved. Favor, send him a gift. It's an attack. This is gonna be a big one, probably. Yeah, the cleanup with the new legionaries, the cleanup is ridiculously quick. That speeds up how quickly you can move all with your with your life, which is really good. Uh, let's get this. Uh, what did I want? Yeah, more pottery. This that's not enough, right? That's eight. We could easily produce some more. But where? It's probably gonna be here. Take four. There you go. Put it clay pit. Ten thousand population, good. No, we just need favor, so let's give him, if we... Has it been a year? It hasn't been a year. We can store this pottery, I suppose. Let's accept our governance for two more years. Now, what we'll do is stress test. I'll do a save just in case.
300 enemies. Oh yeah, now I need to exit my editor. You see, now we are stuck in editor. This is a problem, let's enter the city. There you go. Need a month to pass. Okay, what is it? What is it? Ah, it's there, okay. How about we palisade this forest path? Just to force them here at least. Give ourselves the advantage. So we'll be running eight, eight legionary forts, two chevlet forts. What is this composition? Against 300 enemies. So that's 150% larger than, well, it's 150% what the maximum size normally is of a maximum size attack in Augustus. I suspect we might get shredded by the archers. Top left, yep. I can movie out of it. Yes. This is the Visigoth Vengeance. Sacrificing the horse archers immediately second one of the battle. That's 900 IQ move by the AI. 900 IQ. There should be more. Is this all? Maybe it's all of them. It just doesn't seem like all of them, but it really is. It's a massive army, okay, but they are already breaking. Yeah, the cleanup is real. Now smashing through the palisades. Let's check the check the losses. One, 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 one. Okay. That didn't go so well for them. Well, it's done. New legionary is pretty good. Just wish they had the column formation because that's their main thing in life. The tank things to face. How about the one by ones? Yeah, the one by ones exist. It looks like they throw more than two. Yeah, I mean, if they were supposed to have only two, they certainly don't. They like regenerate them over time. They throw them, then there is a pause, and then they throw them again. And they keep throwing them as the fight goes on, and they, they throw them to clean up the enemy. <laughs> so, they throw way more than probably was intended. I don't know if I should make a report out of it. Anyway, the map is beaten, so... Thanks for watching. We've done some testing on the legionaries. Might see something else a little later. Need to have some food. Let's see if we can raid someone. GG. Yeah, I wish we didn't play such a sandbox. It was a bit uh, underwhelming, but what can you do? Who do we follow? Who exists? There's Blubber. Let's raid Blubber.